Hi, how's everyone doing today? What we're going to show you today is how to reset your web browsers, uh, both Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer. Um, some of the reasons you might want to do this is uh, maybe when you try to browse the internet, uh, web browsing is really slow, it's taking a long time for the pages to load. Um, maybe you've got a bunch of toolbars that have installed themselves on your web browser as well. I don't know about you guys, but I really hate toolbars taking up all my space. Um, you know, video playback is just really choppy. Maybe you have a bunch of pop-up windows and possibly your home page got hijacked. Uh, what that is is, you know, when you're, uh, you have Google or Yahoo or uh, MSN or something set as your home page and it got changed to something else. Most of the times you see things like search product by conduit, things like this. Um, that changed and you can't change it back. Well, resetting your web browser will fix a lot of these issues and speed up your web browsers, make things run a lot better. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is uh, show you how to reset Internet Explorer. Uh, to do that, you're going to press the Windows logo key on your keyboard and R at the same time. It's going to bring up the Run box. Now when the Run box comes up, you're just gonna in the box there. You're gonna type in i n e t c p l dot c p l. That is the command for bringing up the Internet Explorer's properties window. And then you're just gonna click on OK. That is going to open up Internet Explorer's Internet properties. And uh, once that opens up, there will be a bunch of tabs that go across the top of the window and uh, what we're looking for is the advanced tab. It should be on the far right hand side of the window and once that comes up just click on advanced and then down here towards the bottom of it you're gonna see the reset button is, is uh, what we're gonna click on. That's going to pull up this window. We're gonna take a, and put a check mark here next to delete personal settings. Don't worry it's not gonna delete any of your personal files just personal settings. Um, off of Internet Explorer only. And then we're going to click the reset button. And uh, we're going to wait for all these boxes to get check marked. And once they are check marked, you can go ahead and click the close button. It's uh, just resetting everything right now, so we'll just wait for it. Alright, now that is all finished, we'll click close and the window closes. That is all you need to do to uh, reset Internet Explorer. Now you can go ahead and go back to browsing the, win the web with uh, Internet Explorer. Alright, now we're going to show you how to reset Mozilla Firefox. Um, now Mozilla Firefox, uh, might, might, you might have to go about it two different ways depending on how you have it set up uh, or which version you have installed. But this is how we're going to do it. I'm, I'll show you both ways. Uh, first thing, um, for the people that have it set up where you have the Firefox button up in the upper left hand corner, all you have to do is click on Firefox, then go down to Help, and click Troubleshooting Information. That is going to open up the Troubleshooting Information window. And uh, now, there is. I'm going to show you guys the other way as well. Um, some people might have it set up like this where you have these um, buttons up at the top here. If you have those instead, uh, you're just going to click on help and then go to troubleshooting information there. Um, once you click on troubleshooting information, um, it, what, it doesn't matter how you have your setup, once you get to troubleshooting information, um, both pages are going to be the same. Uh, you're just going to come over here to where it says reset Firefox and click on that. Then you're going to come down here and click the button that says Reset Firefox. The window will close. You'll probably see another window open up and it's going to uh, show you that it's going through the, the cleaning process. <clears throat> and uh, it'll just take a moment and then you just click the Finish button and it will start cleaning it up. It will also create a folder called Old Firefox uh, Data. You don't really need to worry about any of this. Once it's finished cleaning everything up, you can actually delete that if you want to, or you can keep it. It's up to you. But basically, this is going to do the same thing that uh, it does when you cleaned out 
um, Internet Explorer. It is going to just you know get rid of any toolbars you have installed, any um, browser hijacking. It's going to do. Uh, it's going to reset everything back to the factory default settings, uh, so everything runs a lot better, and uh, things like video playback will work a lot better. It won't be so choppy. Um, so we'll just go ahead and let it clean up, and uh, once it's finished, uh, you can go ahead and restart your computer, and uh, hopefully everything starts working a little better. Let's wait for this to finish. All right, and that is it. Now you can go ahead and restart your computer and go ahead and go back to uh, using your computer. And thank you for watching. Bye.